What do you think that performance in the Fiesta Bowl did for kind of like the public perception of Spitzer Sanders, the quarterback? I really couldn't tell you. I mean, it wasn't my main focus. My main focus was just to win, you know. Uh, let's just bring a W back to this uh, program, you know. That's a good win over a top five team, you know. So it just kind of displays, you know, like what we can do, you know. We're, you know, we're a brand name team. What have you seen from some of the wide receivers on the team? Say it one more time. What have you seen from some of the wide receivers on the team? Uh, you know, we got talented guys across the board. We're actually pretty stacked, you know. We got. The Green Twins are injured, so that's really that's something we haven't seen. Jay Brace phenomenal, uh, Cetron's phenomenal, CJ Tate's phenomenal. You know, Braden Johnson, JP, BP. You know, you can go down the list. It's pretty good. What's the chemistry been like with BP in his third year? And both of y'all's really kind of third year together. It's just natural. It's just flowing. Does it feel like he's even been here for three years? That's hard to believe. Huh? It is crazy because I've been here for four, so it's just like oh, in the home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's definitely been a great experience, especially, you know, watching them develop, watching myself develop too as well, so, you know, it's pretty good. Go ahead, no. does, does, does Brennan's development help your development at all? Like, are you guys kind of hand-in-hand going through this together? Uh, yeah, 100%. I do, the one part does the catching part, so it's like a, you know, it's like a bridge, you know, he's got the other half and I got the other half. We do our part, hold each other accountable. What are some of those aspects of growth you've seen in yourself in comparison to, let's say, 2019 to now? I'd probably just say two words or three words, slow the game down, you know, the game has slowed down a lot for me. It's, uh, it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty fluent for me, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just slowed down. I, I, that's probably like the main focus of right now is just getting myself to where I can see everything, know everything of what's going on in this playbook and what we want from certain plays and stuff like that. How big of a role do you think having the same quarterback coach for more than one year finally had on you? Uh, it definitely displayed last year, you know. Uh, that was my first spring ball with like the same coaches like a year before, so it was just kind of going in with the same mindset, you know, and um, kind of just, you know, I, you, you just listen, you listen and you learn, and so you keep repairing that and repetitive, you know, it kind of gets, kind of getting a rhythm, and then you kind of learn of what he wants from you on certain plays, and then every now and then he'll slide something in there a little bit more difficult for me, and we'll slowly accomplish that. As time has gone on, you know, you've learned to react or you've read and react situations a lot better than what you used to. Body language is a lot better and you've grown what seems to be mentally. So how have you, like, what do you attribute your mental growth to while being here? I mean, that probably goes back to Rete again, you know, uh, whether every play is a good play, every play is a bad play, you know, you, you throw it out the window and you move on to the next play. After the game, if you win, you celebrate, if you lose, you know, you learn. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.